Hey friends, it's Miss Andrea here. Are you guys ready for Sunday school? Awesome. Let's do our open shut them song. So let's get your hands up. Here we go. Open shut them, open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them, open shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Apart together, apart together, give a little clap, clap, clap. Apart together, apart together, put them in your lap, lap, lap. I raise my hands, oh so high, I bring them down and now they're low. I raise my hands, oh so high. I bring them down and now they're low. My hands are high, my hands are low. My hands are high, my hands are low. My hand is a bird flying high. The bird flies down and now it's low. The bird flies up and now it's high. The bird flies down and now it's low. My hands are high. My hands are low, my hands are high, my hands are low. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Back and forward, back and forward, give a little clap, clap, clap. Back and forward, back and forward, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Yay! Good job, boys and girls. That was great. Today, we're going to read a story from our Spark Story Bible about Jesus blessing the children. I hope you can see the picture. You see Jesus? He's surrounded by a whole bunch of people. Let's read and see what happens. Jesus traveled all over the land telling people about the good news of God's love. One day, Jesus was talking to a large crowd. It seemed there was always a crowd. The children had to stand on their tiptoes or sit on their parents' shoulders just to see Jesus. People were everywhere on the grassy hill, laughing and smiling and waiting for Jesus to tell them more about God. God loves you and you and you, Jesus said. He wants you to love other people too. One mom said, I want my children to hear what Jesus is saying. Other parents wanted their children to hear Jesus too. They moved closer and put their children down on the grass. One small boy tugged on the corner of Jesus' robes, and Jesus turned around. Ah, Jesus said smiling, and he bent down to hold the hand of the child standing nearby. But the disciples scolded the parents. What do you think you're doing? Jesus is too important and too busy to talk to these children. Move your children back. When Jesus heard the disciples say these words, he stood up and turned back to the grown-ups. What do you mean, Jesus said to the disciples, these children are as important to me as you are. I want to bend down and look into their eyes and tell them about God's love too. Never stop anyone from coming to see me, especially children. Let the children come sit on my knee. Children like these are a part of God's big family too. Then Jesus knelt down to look at each child in the eye. Come sit with me, Jesus said, and I will tell you about God, about the love of God my Father. Jesus sat down on the grass with all the children and told all of the girls and boys about God and God's family. Then Jesus put his hand on every girl's head and every boy's head and blessed them, saying, Remember, God and I love you just the way you are. Then Jesus stood up and said to all the grown-ups, Remember my words. Whoever does not love God like a child won't be part of God's family. Isn't that a cool story? How Jesus loves all of us. And Jesus loves children like you just as much as he loves grown-ups. So that means you're a, a very important part of God's family as well. Isn't that really cool to know that Jesus and God love you so much? Let's sing Jesus Loves Me now to remind us about how much Jesus loves all of us. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. 
little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Good job, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you guys next week. Bye.